Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Player Analysis. This is the series where I go over a player's strengths, weaknesses, and display how they use their strengths to give you an introduction on how the player exhibits their skills. Today's episode should be a very familiar name to a lot of you. He's been in the scene for a while, and he's still rocking it over a decade and a half later. Let's take a look at I Am Chris For Life. I Am Chris For Life, better known as Chris Chike, is a DDR player from the United States. Whether you know him from his beloved BMRA video, his classic Through the Fire and Flames FC, or his win at the 6th Konami Arcade Championship, he's been in the rhythm game scene for years now and shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. His range of rhythm games has been nothing short of astounding, but his most impressive genre are the two main four-panel games he seems to have made his mark on the most, Dance Dance Revolution and In the Groove. His versatility and resilience to practice charts for hours have made Chris a powerhouse in virtually any tournament he enters too. And as of now, his prime focus is on Dance Dance Revolution, as he is increasing his catalog of world records as the months go by. With that said, let's take a look at Chris's strengths and weaknesses. Chris withholds some of the most versatile accuracy in 4-panel today. He can MFC files on DDR Extreme, he's got numerous first ever quads on In The Groove, and has won countless tournaments in both DDR and ITG. His ability to obtain such accuracy on any BPM or difficulty, and through different games, displays a type of consistency that is almost impossible to match. He is also a stealth mod monster, as he has some of the hardest charts memorized and has been able to get scores that would pass as a good score from almost any player without the mod. Chris doesn't have any notable weaknesses in his DDR play, but there is one thing that can sometimes trip him up in tournaments. In 18s and 19s, he can get a little tripped up in his foot speed and can drop quite a few misses in dense streams or very intricate crossover sections. Let's take a look at some scores that display some of his best aspects as a player. This is one of Chris's most underrated scores in my opinion. Getting good MA on this game is a bit harder than doing so on the newest version of DDR, so MFCing anything on this game is extremely impressive. His utilization of creative ghost stepping, accenting, and great accuracy overall allowed him to seal off an MFC on one of the trickiest charts in DDR Extreme. Yes. Oh, you couldn't make it. Oh, finally. Quadding a 13 is one thing on In The Groove, but quadding this 13 is a completely different story. The rhythms in this file are all over the place, there's two 24th drills thrown into the mix at 172 BPM, and one of those drills are the last few notes of the song. A pretty in-your-face type of technical chart, and a great display of Chris's technicality, despite the score being from a few years ago. It was pretty hard for me to narrow this category down to one single score, but this one had to take the spot. This PFC was monumental for Chris and for the game in general, as it stands as the only 19 PFC in the game to this day. With its tricky stops, a technical slowdown section, and a brutal 440 BPM stream at the end with 16th sprinkled in, show Chris's ability to MA in a plethora of situations. This is definitely one of Chris's best stealth scores, if not his best. There's really not a whole lot I can say about this score, other than that the score would actually rank him third in the world, or second if you didn't include his world record on it already. Achieving such a high rank on a 17 with the stealth mod is a statement and a half, and is one of the best stealth scores out there at the moment.
Chris played Index for a little bit at one point on Step Mania, and managed to quad Euphoria 1.1 using the Stealth mod. He also has all the Oni Course world records on DDR Extreme, obtaining all of them in less than a year. To this day, he is still ranked in the top 10 for his overall Guitar Hero 2 setlist score, being ranked 6th. Lastly, Chris is often associated with Korn, an inside joke that developed throughout the community, and is often jabbed at jokingly for having corny accuracy. Chris, whatever you got, perfect. Corn. <laughs> sorry, guys, sorry. Sorry. Cornish. Chris Chike remains to be an icon in the DDR scene. His dedication to the game since well over a decade ago has shown to pay off with his phenomenal performances in recent years. With DDR tournaments becoming more and more popular, hopefully we are able to witness him utilizing his skill sets against other top players more often and see what he's truly capable of. I'd like to give a special thank you to Dawson Gamble for making this video possible through Patreon, and another shout out to my patrons for your amazing support over the last few months. Feel free to support me on Patreon for more Rhythm Gaming content along with my other links below. I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next, and take care.